All right, everyone, this is a new game here at Ocean's Eleven Casino. It runs every Monday. It's $10 double board bomb pots. First interesting hand, I look down at Jack-6, 5-4. Onto the gun, we go to flops of King-7-3 with two clubs and King-Jack-8 rainbow. Checks to me, I check, and action checks through. So we're going still nine ways to two turns. Turns bring a seven on the top and a jack on the bottom. Checks to me, I bet 40, and there are two callers. So we're going three ways to two rivers. Rivers bring out a jack on the top and a six on the bottom, and here I don't want to bet too large as I'm most likely going to be chopping the pot with somebody. So I bet 100 and both players call. I turn over my hand. Next player turns over his. He has ace, king, seven, two. So he has the boat on the top and me and him are going to chop it up. Here look down at ace, ace, eight, seven, single suited in middle position. We go to flops of king, eight, six, all hearts and queen, 10, nine with two clubs. Early position player bets 40. I call and there are two callers behind. So we're going four ways to two turns. Turns bring out a two on the top and a six on the bottom. Early position now bets 100. I make the call, but looking back, I probably should have folded. In double board bomb pots, you really want to be able to win both boards. And if somebody has a flush on the top, I'm drawing dead. But I made the call. Next position player put it all in the middle for about 400. Two callers over to me. And, you know, I kind of didn't want to compound the mistake by calling off more money, drawing half the pot. So I folded. This was the conclusion of the hand. The early position player turned over 10, 10, 9, 7. So he flopped a flush and made quads on the bottom. And the other player turned over ace, naked ace of hearts with an 8, 7. So he made the same straight as me on the bottom. And the other player is going to scoop the pop. Here, look down at ace, king, king, five, single suit in the big blind. We go to flops of jack, four, three with two diamonds and jack, ten, six, rainbow. Checks to me, I check, and action checks through. So we're still going nine ways to two turns. Turns bring out a king on the top and an ace on the bottom. Checks to me, I bet 80, and there are two callers. So we're going three ways to two rivers. Rivers bring a nine on the top and a three on the bottom. I check, checks over to the cutoff who bets 320. And really tough decision. Um, I did put somebody on queen 10. So, you know, obviously a pretty bad river card there and not really having a ton on the other board. I decide to fold and the other player folds as well. The cutoff leader tells me that he had a set on the bottom and a straight on the top. So looks like we made a good fold here. Here look down at ace jack 10 three single suited under the gun. We go to flops of queen jack three all diamonds and nine eight five two spades. Checks to me, I bet 90 and there are two callers. So we're going three ways to two turns. Turns bring out a four on the top and a two on the bottom. And with a little bit over a pot size bet left here, I'm not really gonna mess around. So I just go ahead and pot it and both my opponents fold, so we take it down. Here we look down at King Jack 8 5 single suit in the big blind. We go to flops of Ace 5 3 rainbow and 10 9 7 with two clubs. Checks to me, I bet 90, and there are two callers, so we're going three ways to two turns. Turns bring out a 9 on the top and a 10 on the bottom. I check over to a late position player who bets 200, and obviously with the board pairing on the bottom and not really having a ton on the top, I fold. Here look down at ace queen 10 6 rainbow in middle position. We go to flops of jack 6 2 with two hearts and king queen 10 with two spades. Action checks to me, I check and action checks through. So we're still going nine ways to two turns. Turns bring out a 10 on the top and a jack on the bottom. Checks to me, I bet 90 and everyone folds so we take it down. Here look down at ace ace 6 6 double suited in middle position. We go to flops of 9 3 2 with two hearts and 8 7 4 rainbow. Checks to me, I bet 90, and there are two callers, so we're going three ways to two turns. Turns bring out a six on the top and a 10 on the bottom, and with a little bit under a pot size bet left, I put it all in the middle, and there's one caller, so we're going heads up to two rivers. The rivers bring out a jack on the top and a nine on the bottom. I turn over my hand, and my opponent turns over his. He has 10, nine, seven, two, so he had two pair on the top board, and he makes two pair on the bottom, so we're gonna chop it up. Here look down at king queen jack seven single suited under the gun. We go to flops of king eight seven with two clubs and ace nine four with two clubs. Checks to me, I bet 80 and there's one caller. So we're going heads up to two turns. Turns bring out a king on the top and a three on the bottom. I bet 240 and my opponent quickly calls. So we're going heads up to two rivers. Rivers bring out a 10 on the top and a three on the bottom. And my opponent in this hand is pretty sticky. He doesn't really like folding. So I check with the intention of calling any bet but he checks back. I turn over my hand and he turns over five, four, three, two. So he makes the boat on the bottom and we're gonna chop it up. Here look down at queen eight, two, two, single suited in the small blind. We go to flops of 10, seven, two with two spades and king six, five with two spades. 
I bet 60 and there are three callers, so we're going four ways to two turns. Turns bring out a jack on the top and a three on the bottom. I check with the intention of calling any bet, as obviously now I only lose to the nut flush on the top, but all my opponents check back. So we're still going four ways to two rivers. Rivers bring a four on the top and a four on the bottom. It's pretty unlikely here that I'm up against the nuts as it got checked through on the turn. So I bet 240. Player to my left has a little bit less. He makes the call and everyone else folds. I turn over my hand and he mucks. He later tells me that he also had a flush. So uh, we're gonna take it down here. Quick note about that hand. I've seen some players get a little crazy when they have two flush draws of the same suit. But just keep in mind that when a situation like that occurs, you're less likely to hit your flush as obviously a lot of your cards are out there. And if your opponent has the higher flush draw, you're really drawing pretty thin. So just uh, keep that in mind when you're playing. Here look down at ace eight four two single suit in the big blind. We go to flops of 10, three, two rainbow and ace eight, three rainbow. Checks to me, I bet 60, and there are three callers, so we're going four ways to two turns. Turns bring out a king on the top and a two on the bottom. I check over to a late position player who bets 300, folds to me, and here I kind of thought that I'm probably good on the bottom, but not really having too much on the top besides, you know, a pair and a gutter. Um, you know, not only would I have to call this bet, this opponent's pretty aggressive, so, you know, I'm gonna have to call like another 900 something on the river, which, uh, you know, would be pretty difficult. So for those reasons, I decided to fold. Here, look down at 9885, single suit in the cutoff. We go to flops of Jack 95 rainbow and 862 rainbow. Player in early position bets 50, folds to me. I make it 240 and there are two callers. So we're going three ways to two turns. Turns bring out a six on the top and a five on the bottom. Both my opponents check to me and here obviously didn't really love either of the turn cards as now I could definitely be beat by both of them. But it's pretty unlikely that one of my opponents is gonna be able to beat me on both boards. So for those reasons, I go ahead and push. Over to the player in early position, he tanks for a while and eventually folds. The other player thinks a bit and makes the call. So we're going heads up to two rivers. Rivers bring out a jack on the top and a two on the bottom. So obviously I should have the bottom here, but not really sure about the top. I turn over my hand and my opponent doesn't look too happy about it, but he turns over his hand. He has queen, 10, eight, two. So he also made a full house on the bottom, but missed everything on the top and we're gonna scoop it here. Here I look down at king, queen, eight, four, single suited middle position. We go to flops of king, king, eight, rainbow and jack, six, five, rainbow. Checks to me, I bet 80 and there's one caller. So we're going heads up to two turns. Turns bring a three on the top and a five on the bottom. I bet 200 and my opponent asks if I'll check it down if he calls. And uh, you know, it's a pretty friendly game. I wanna be uh, good for it. So I say yes and he makes the call. So we're going heads up to two rivers. Rivers bring a queen on the top and a three on the bottom. I turn over my hand and he turns over jack nine, six, six. So we're gonna chop it up here. Here look down at eight, six, five, five, single suited in the big blind. We go to flops of eight, four, three with two spades and king seven, four rainbow. Checks to me, I bet 70 and there are three callers. So we're going four ways to two turns. Turns bring a jack on the top and a nine on the bottom. I check, next player bets 300. There are two callers back to me. So when you're playing these double board bomb pots, especially when it's multi-way like this, you're gonna definitely wanna be drawing to the nuts. Um, you know, problem is on the top, obviously there's a flush draw available, same thing on the bottom. And now that the nine connects to the seven, really a lot of my straight cards are gonna be the second and third nuts. So for those reasons, I folded. Rivers ended up bringing a four on the top and a nine on the bottom. The late position player ended up potting and the other two players folded. So he ends up taking it down. Shortly after the previous hand, I ended up bracking up. I played for a little bit over four hours. What's up guys, Wayne back here with you. So today I was in for 800, out for 2000. So profit of 1200. If you haven't already done so, check out the previous video. I'll link it up here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.